Yo, we are back again. What is this? The fourth for the fourth episode. Is the double the feature. It is the fourth. It is for the double feature podcast. And uh, today we got a couple interesting topics. But um, before we start, guys, you guys can follow us, obviously, over uh, at our socials, which are linked right below us, right there. Those are our handles. And you can also send some tips in with some questions, anything for us, topics for us to yes, talk about please. during the podcast. So if you want, if you if you really <laughs> find something interesting that you want to hear our opinions on or, you know, just ask us a question, you send it over there and we'll talk about it over here. But, um... Yeah, guys, we've got uh, three topics. Uh, probably have another episode of these, like, very, very soon because John Wick is about to come out. But Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Other than John Wick, uh, there's been some news and, and some things that have released. But first, what we're going to get into is the fact that um, James Gunn confirmed that he will direct Superman legacy and um you know this is interesting i think once it started you know dwindling down you know he got revealed that he was writing it and then you know he was like you know i'm looking for a director we're, we're looking for a director but then on top of that so much time started passing that a lot of people were thinking you know maybe maybe he's gonna direct this thing um but um yeah he just confirmed it what are your thoughts on this on on this whole thing of him directing it and what he said about his his father and all that stuff what are your thoughts do you want the real answer or do you want the correct answer i mean because here's the thing i want your answer you want my answer you want the kj answer you if you want the kj answer i can give you the kj answer like give me the kj answer give me give me all right so here's Pause. the thing. So, so here's the thing. We knew this. Like, let's be honest. We knew this was coming. Um, I specifically remember him doing the same fucking thing with the Suicide Squad. I remember he said, "Oh, I, I remember he like announced or whatever, like he's gonna write it. I'm gonna write the Suicide Squad." And then, like, I remember like a couple months later, he announced that he was directing. Like, "Oh, I'll be directing it." So when he announced that he was, um. Writing, writing it, legacy. Yeah. Not only did that, you know, check the box for me and really tell me, okay, yeah, he's probably gonna direct it. But I mean, everything he writes, he directs. Everything he directs, he writes. Like almost every time. Yeah. So I yeah. was like, it's it's a no brainer. Plus, I don't think it would. I don't even think it would mesh well if you had James Gunn writing a movie and someone else directing. Directing it. So you think? Let me ask you this. So do you well. think him directing it? Is a good thing, or would you have rather one in someone else? Like, go into that. Like, that is a question. That's it is a fucking question. Objectively, um, yeah, it is. It, here's the fucking thing. Okay, I like James. Like James Gunn as a director, he I he I like he for me for the shit I've seen from him. He's three for six for me. Three for six with what? Guardians one, Guardians two. In the holiday special, Peacemaker is like a <laughs> Peacemaker is like a bro. What the he- all right, <laughs> all right. Peacemaker is like almost there. What the hell? I that like was Peacemaker, so but not like yeah, the, I wonder not why. Like yeah, it's just all the I DC just stuff think. suspiciously, like just suspiciously. All the DC stuff are the ones you weren't fucking with. Damn, but all right, damn, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So it's my fucking fault. Nah, go into it, go into it, go into it. Do you on, fuck bro. with him directing it? Like, go. On. So Who I'm would you so have chosen? All that. He's all not that. like a bad director to me. I personally just wouldn't choose him for a Superman movie. Um, right. I think if there was a different character, or if you were like, Who would, would you choose? James, Who would, would you, you choose? James Gunn with a DC film, like, and it was just a different DC film. I maybe would. Say, I would maybe say yes. <laughs> Who would you choose to direct it then? Like, would if I you were in the position, it? in Peter Safran's position, you were like, oh. If I was in Peter Safran's position. Who would you get? And it has, it obviously it has, it's Superman Legacy, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm going to pick Joseph Kaczynski. Joseph Kaczynski? I'm going right. to get the Cosman. Like, I, I mean, love what he did with Tron Legacy. Love what he did with Top Gun. I mean, he's a legacy He's really he's really good at those legacy sequels like Superman Legacy. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, but um, back to the topic. Back to mm-hmm. back to the point. Um, yeah. If it wasn't Superman Legacy, I would probably you know be cool with James Gunn. Like I, James Gunn directing a DC movie. I'm not just like oh DC. No James Gunn. I just think Superman um, is not. He's not the first choice I would go with. But seeing that he's writing it, yes, I would be like, well, then he'll direct it. And so when the news broke out um, that he was going to direct it, it wasn't, it wasn't a shock to me. It wasn't a shock to a lot of people around. You my didn't circle. seem to like that though. <laughs> you that, did he, not... that he's directing it or what? Yeah, you didn't seem to, to be a, the biggest fan of that. Yeah, I just told you because I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick him like me personally. But I mean. It is what it is. Like I can't, like I can't fucking go up to WB and fucking change their minds. Like it is what it is. He's directing, so now I just gotta hope he he delivers. But I, I mean, nothing is final until obviously you see trailers and shit. But I don't know. I'm skeptical. All right, that, all right. That, um, that doesn't mean he can't. That doesn't mean he can't deliver. So it didn't come as a shock to me. Um, most of the people around my circle, it wasn't a shock to us. How do you think? Um, what do you think about him? Like. Handling like, you know, the specifics of the film, the action, the music, like, like, what do you think is? Do you think he's gonna do that that stuff good? I have no clue. I don't know if he's gonna be the type to implement a, a like grand, grand like score into his Superman. What he film. has he has done it. I mean, Guardians is a space opera, right? But here's the thing: you have moments that play like that, right? Like you'll have moments that are grand score i mean like absolutely a grand score like from beginning to end like the movie consists of score i don't know if it's gonna be just that or like soundtrack a bunch of soundtrack and shit because you know he likes to dabble yeah in yeah for so sure I don't he has know. A, he has a here's the thing yeah. see this is the thing because he's tackling because he's tackling something so fucking different like and it's not that different but it's just everything he's tackled so far has had a bit of a similarity to each other so when you get something like Superman, you know how fans are about Superman. You know the kind of movies there have been about Superman. It makes you just question, is it going to be classic James Gunn or is it going to show us something different and something where I could be like, okay, I can see James Gunn directing a Superman film now because I just saw it. And it makes sense. Who because do you think? Is like the Suicide Squad Guardians, they're kind, they're, they have their similarities there. Like, Something like Superman, that's a, uh, that's big, man. That's big from stuff like Guardians and the Suicide Squad and stuff. I mean, who do you think will be the the villain? I'm nuts, better fuck it, hey nigga. You say what? Who do you have an idea of, of who you think the villain will be? Um, a lot of people see, want Brainiac. A lot of people do, see, and you yeah, know that wouldn't yeah. be too far fetched. I think it's gonna be Brainiac, um, but I wouldn't be surprised. You're gonna be kind of like what at this? I wouldn't be surprised if he went ahead and if he went ahead and just made Zod the villain. I don't think he's gonna do that. Um, that's the, the dumbest mean, thing I think I've no, no, ever no, heard. I don't think he. No, no, no <laughs> I don't think he's going to. But I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Did, did the Amazing Spider-Man use any villains from Toby's as a main villain? Uh, not Green Goblin. Um, no. No. Okay. Did I... did MCU not counting No Way Home, of course. No. That's just not going to happen. Okay, they're not about to just do Zod like when the last Superman movie. I don't movie, think it's going to happen. You know? I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I think Brainiac could be cool. You know, he he could be responsible for the what was your death of Krypton. I know I know you was probably Um, I'm 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 very psyched because I think God um damn boy. you know, you know I'm a huge fan of writer directors. You know that my top 5 directors are writer directors. I love I love People who write and direct because it makes the the vision a lot more focused, a lot more clear, 
and it's pre- it's more precise. And uh, I think Guardians one is like a huge testament to that because James has like talked about how he developed the story on his way home and he pictured yeah. the movie, and you could see it's just so set I on just, what it I is. Wonder how everything is gonna play out. Like how is I he do handle the Krypton sequence. Like yeah, so if, if he, he does, so if he with, no, like, he he might Guardians not. He might not. It seems like is he you gonna know, like. But he, he so, might not. This is a 20 you know, something. I know. We're that's like, what I'm saying. Like, so it could be a flashback, but. Know. Is it going to be like a 20 something Superman, like, like walking around like a, like a lot of like, you know, like grounded as stories? Um, like, I think it's going to be more of that. So oh, I'm, this is what I'm excited for. Like, I, I think James is going to give us stuff like Clark in the Daily Planet and then like stuff happens and. And you know we get a little uh, um, um, transformation sequence, maybe in an elevator or something, and we and he gets said they like that's just classic stuff that I, I do. You know we see that a lot in like Superman Returns and stuff. And unfortunately, Cavill Superman didn't really get a chance to like get to that point. But um, in terms of James directing this, I'm excited. I think I think Ultra Humanite might be the villain. He's like a gorilla. You know James Gunn loves his loves his gor- and he I think didn't he post something about like. Uh, got to show love what to the, the DC fuck? gorillas or something, and it was, he posted like a bunch of pictures of like gorillas in DC. I I forgot, but the fucking uh, gorilla like that could be the villain, like yeah, yeah, rod yeah. type shit. A, a little bit, it, a lot stronger and bigger and like it. Bro. But I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. But I'm so glad that he is directing. I think. A lot of people are like, oh, here we go. We're about to have mid action. But, like, you know, I don't really think he has. Yeah, I don't. I asked you. Crispy ass action yet. Right. He has not shown it to me. Now, let me rebuttal. He has not had any characters that really, really call for compelling action sequences. And if anything. His action sequences, I don't think it has to do with the characters. I think he shoots think it it's well. Like it's not shaky cam. It's it's very wide no, no, shots. No, I just like, think he doesn't do anything to try and like make it interesting. Like, like I don't think like he film, use an like, example. He can, that's like 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 the entire movie will be shot pretty well, but like the action sequences. Like, give me an example be, of like a sequence that you wish was shot like this. You know what I mean? Like the beginning of. <clears throat> like the beginning of Guardians 2, the opening sequence when they're fighting the monster and stuff, and mm-hmm. really dancing and stuff, you could implement some like really cool shots during that whole sequence. But, I like, think there is, but that's just how the fight plays out. A lot of the fighting is kind of like in a ship, like battling ships, and it looks like Star in the first Wars. one, in the first one, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and it looks like uh, and it just looks like Star Wars, and it's just like. And then the second one, it's like that you have that um, what was it? The pack, uh, the fucking dad. him versus ego. <laughs> him versus ego, yeah. You had him versus ego, and that battle, like there was some cool stuff in there, but it was mostly just like a bunch of like CGI. You know what I mean? Like it was like a like oh, fuck it man. wasn't like crazy shots. It was like crazy visuals, basically, is what I'm saying. I like, agree. I agree. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I just think like. He, like, I'm not saying he's not good at shooting ice sequences. I just think he hasn't done anything very interesting with him. And I think for a Superman movie, you need that. Like, you All need right. something interesting. You know, that's that that could also be up to the DOP. So, you know, he might get someone with some yeah, insane I mean, yeah. cinematic <laughs> cinematography. But um, I think... I think he shoots action fine. I think the Guardians themselves... And I wonder what, like, the budget... Is. I just... No, this is this is a huge movie. This is gonna be minimum two hundred. I guarantee, because James is doing it, (laughs) Kelly, the owner of the company or the CEO is doing it. He's gonna want as much money. I don't think the budget is gonna be low or anything. I wonder how it's gonna look like with the budget. Like I wonder how good the CGI is gonna be. How crispy the cinematography. Well, I think James is. Yeah, you know, I think I he does how, really good with CG work. I think he I really to, understands how to work with VFX artists, how to match lighting and get as much practical stuff in there and wire work. He really, he really gets the VFX stuff. But 
I I think you know I think the Guardians action is fine. I don't think it's like great, but I think the group, the Guardians, aren't they, they don't they don't call for much choreography and much crazy shots of action. Like I think what he I gives us is great. Like that rocket sequence. The the sequence where Rocket like defeats all those people in the forest, like that's such a great yeah. action scene. And like no, you wouldn't expect good. a rocket scene to like be so cool. I think yeah, I think James Gunn directing this is great. You know, maybe Guardians Three will give us will tell will show us, you know, what what he'll what he can do with a Superman like character like with Adam, Adam Warlock. Warlock. Yeah. yeah. But uh Let's go ahead and move on. Those are our thoughts for James Gunn directing Superman. If you guys have uh, any thoughts on that, then place yours in the comments below. You know who they could have got to direct it? Who? Zack Snyder. Okay. Uh, moving on to topic number two. <laughs> um, <laughs> Scream 6. Recently released in theaters. It's been, what, two weeks since? About? Is it two or three? Three? No, we just know, saw man. it last week, didn't we? Or a week before last week? Was that the same week of release, though? Yeah, 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 for sure. It might have been a. Oh, it's been like a week and a half. I'm pretty sure. It's been a week. All right. Scream Six has recently released in theaters about a week ago at this point, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and give our thoughts. I'll start with this one since i pretty much you know know what um what i want to say about this movie i think um the movie was a great screen movie i think there's some recycled concepts specifically with like scream 2 and like the whole uh, connected to their family and there are the killers like it's pretty much a rehash of the scream 2 killers but um i thought what this film did so good was move it to new york and i thought oh my goodness like i hope we get a screen movie in las vegas that would be insane dude more because horror movies in las vegas yeah i think i it's think like it's just playground it's very interesting to see <laughs> like you know you watch the screen franchise and it's you know very suburban in in woodsboro and it's it's in these suburbs and they're constantly running through like forests and and neighborhoods and like then we get to something like scream six where we get a um you know a sequence with gail in a high rise a sequence in a in a subway in a bodega you know all these these types of things or at a college party or at a college apartment in new york and like it's just it's just so cool to see those types of things in the screen franchise and it's a huge breath of fresh air by the way spoilers warning by the way i hope you've seen scream by now but um the killers are revealed to be richie's brother and sister and his father from um from the from the last screen from screen five i thought um that that was super weak to me it was like they the movie leading up to it was so great <clears throat> and then they like took a back seat and a little um like they they cut a corner and just rehashed Scream Five or no 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 Scream Two, um, and I just thought that was that was kind of disappointing. And um, as soon as they got revealed, um, I thought, is it S Cindy? Right? I thought Cindy was the best uh, with the mask off. Um, Spider from Avatar was not so good when he got his mask off. Um, but uh, there were some cool things in that final, in that finale. But man, one thing I gotta <laughs> praise is like, just the the tension. The tension in this movie was so I've never gripped my seat so many <sighs> times. Like that whole scene in the bodega or the the convenience store was like that shit went hard that as scene fuck. That was good. Yeah, I more of that. I, that's all. <laughs> that's all. I liked it, but um, I, I think. I think, uh, yeah, that was great. But then the scene in, like, oh, the scene in, in, in the high-rise with Gail was so great. And, like, the callbacks and her, you know, putting him on hold. And 
I, I just thought, you know, as a as a Scream franchise movie, this was everything like you want in a Scream franchise movie. But a, they take a couple steps back with like, you know, I think Radio Silence. Ra- is it is it Radio Silence? The people that make these movies. Who's the people that makes the, make make these movies? Is it Radio Silence? Um. Oh, that's a good question. Paramount? I. Th- no, 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 no. It's in our the distributor. Radio, yeah, it's Radio Silence. I think Radio no. Silence does this. You know, I think they're huge screen fans, and you can you can tell like they really, you know, you know when they put two movies out within a year. That's 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 insane. But I think you know them being fans really uh, benefits their movies. But sometimes, sometimes it can. It can it can you know do a little wrong uh, specifically with Mindy, which is um which is a character I, I really loved uh, in Scream Five, and I, and I still love her, uh, which is um, Ricky's uncle, but or or Ricky is their uncle. But I thought you know in the old Scream movies, whenever Ricky would you know talk about the Stab franchise, and this is what happens in the sequels, and he wasn't so heavy handed with them, like he wasn't like like just putting his fist in your mouth with the references and and the uh, cliches and movie tropes and how to avoid them and i just thought like in scream 5 it wasn't so much but it, i mean it was still there but in this movie it's there even more where they're like beating you on the head with like um the the franchise references like meta dialogue well that's what the scream franchise is but it's more like in the old installments they were a lot more natural and they weren't so heavy fisted. Like she yeah. just goes off on a rant for like five minutes, like every other scene. And <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really like rock with that, but um, I loved, I loved the relationship and, you know, the character building on Sam and Tara, the two sisters in here would uh, play by Jenna Ortega. And uh, I f- forget the other, I want to, I want to say her name is Melissa Barrera, Melissa Barrera. And um, they they were amazing. Uh, specifically, Melissa Barrera carried this movie, man. I thought her performance was was phenomenal. But uh, yeah, I think they just have some hiccups in this movie. I think they could still polish it. It sets up Scream Seven for some interesting stuff, though. I loved what they did with Sam's character, and like you know, obviously her being B- Billy Loomis's um daughter, and them kind of teasing her being a killer, but then not. I thought that was that was really great. Um, but yeah, this was, oh my God, this, the ladder sequence was, oh my Um, goodness, that ladder sequence was so great. And especially the shots in there were fantastic. You felt the intensity after Annika got stabbed and like everyone just started panicking and she's hurt. And like, I just loved, like they were advertising that and it paid off for me. I was like, I was literally about to start crying Tears of joy. I like I like Scream. If I had to rate it out of ten, Scream Six, I would say that's like a seven, seven point five maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's what I would give it. I lo- I loved it. Um, enjoyed my time thoroughly at the theater, especially after Ant Man. <laughs> but uh, we already talked about that movie. But um, yeah, what would you think about Scream Six? What were your thoughts? What were your thoughts? Oh my friends. Okay. Um. So I tweeted out. Earlier this week, I tweeted out after my reaction to the Scream movie. I said, hey, I didn't really like this movie. Um, Yeah, maybe I just don't get the Scream franchise. And that's fine. Okay. I could fully own up to that. That, you know, call me a rookie. Call me a virgin. Call me a Scream virgin. Call me whatever. Um, Maybe I just don't get it because... Um, I understand it's a slasher film. You're going to have dumb shit left and right. But there was some stuff in this movie that I just was like, that's really dumb. Like, like what? That's Go so off. stupid. Like, Go how off. dumb? Like, how dumb do you think I am? Like, for ex- I mean, are we going into spoilers or what is what's going on? You can say anything. The movie's been out for anything. a week. Yeah. Okay. Um... So the beginning of the movie, it, it kind of like for me, it kind of set off the tone for me. So like after the beginning went, it was kind of like, 
how dumb can we make the beginning just to show you how dumb this movie can be? And yeah, they had the um, the one girl, the teacher. Well, she was like a professor, right? Yeah, she was a professor on horror films, you know, that kind of stuff. Great. Yeah. You're right. All right. So they had her like, and she was meeting some. Hold on. Who was she meeting? Was it like a student? It was just a date. It was a date. No, it was just a date. Okay, because it it was throwing me off. I was like, is this a date? Or it kind of sounds like she's like meeting someone up for like a business. I was like so confused. But um, yeah, so she's calling up this dude for a date. And he's just like luring her into an alley. Right. In the dumbest. (laughs) In the dumbest possible way. And um. I mean, the way that she perishes is in the dumbest fucking way. <laughs> Hold on, I, I, I mean, it is in the dumbest fucking way. And then the guy that, oh, he's, they do a little ghost face. Oh, he's ghost face. Obviously, he's not. Oh, I loved face. it. Obviously. Man, so I wish Tony Revolori they, was like a main character because he was so good for his, so, like, so time in there. Ghost face or whatever. Um, then he gets a call from his homie. And this one really, um, this is when I was really like, oh, this movie's gonna be that because, um, this guy, I don't, I forgot the, um, the name. I keep saying, um, I forgot the name. Jason, I guess his name was Jason. Jason was the way he killed the woman is the same, not the same exact way, but like, it's like the same fucking way he died. Like, the way that the call was and well, yeah that's a screen like, thing you know no yeah yeah and again might not understand the screen thing but it was like those scenes going back to back it looked like that like he just died the same fucking way he just killed a this, little bit there were some twists in there like you know obviously he thought that was greg his roommate and then yeah. he ends up opening the fridge and that's greg you know chopped up yeah. into bits and pieces and that sets up our new killer i thought the opening sequence was great i still like like the scream one and the scream two I, the scream then, four like i like those sequences better thing, but um, i loved it here's another thing um i didn't like a lot of the characters in this in really this i like um jenna ortega's character the main character played by melissa barrera mm-hmm she was okay to me. I thought she could have been better for being the main character, but she wasn't bad. She was like, she was, she was fine. Obviously, like <clears throat> Courtney Cox, as Gail and stuff, like they were, they were fine. Like, <clears throat> but, um, I I liked uh the dude that played Chad too. He was cool. Um, Chad, Chad, yeah, name's name's fucking Chad. But um, yeah, <laughs> Hay- Hayden. Penetier. She was fine too. Um, but the rest of the cast, I really was kind of Randy. Different. I said I kept saying hold on, hold on, hold on. I, really I kept saying Ricky. Him. I got mixed up with <laughs> Richie from the last movie. I meant Randy. Randy's their uncle. My bad. I don't know why the fuck I was saying Ricky. But but go on, go on, go on. Um But yeah, for the care yeah. Some of them were annoying, but uh yeah, I really just didn't care for some the the bitch's girlfriend i mean the movie was just like hey you're just not supposed to give a fuck about this character at all so like let's so we're gonna kill her for you um so well yeah she was a new character i thank them for doing me that favor um as far as like the story goes the story wasn't anything interesting like i wasn't curious and i feel like i was supposed to be i wasn't really curious at all during this movie um I think some of the plot points were kind of predictable, but only like because, what specifically? Like, like when they reveal the screams at the end, I feel like some of the ghost the faces, screams, the ghost faces. <laughs> when they reveal the ghost faces at the end, I feel like some of them were pretty predictable. Like I feel like it was supposed to be a reveal, and and it was not. I mean, you can let me know. If so I'm you wrong, predicted like, all three of them. I no, no no here's the thing I won't say I predicted all three of them but because like you could predict who some of them are and like you could be like okay well 
it's clearly going to be this fucking police officer, like, clearly. <laughs> like, it kind of, like, makes the weight of that reveal kind of, you know, kind of softens it a bit. But um, it wasn't, like, a bad movie. I just, I didn't, I wasn't really invested in this. Um, I did like that, uh, the corner store scene. I did like that scene a lot. Um, the rooftop, not the rooftop scene, the high rise. Is that what you called it? The high rise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The high rise scene, it was okay. The one me. with Gail? Um, yeah, it was all right. To all me. right. And then, like, as far as, bro, like, the girl's boyfriend. Who's? Like, uh, the girl Melissa Barrera was playing, Sam's. Oh, uh, what was his name? It was like. <sighs> I want to say it started with a, Danny. oh Danny, Danny, yeah. yeah, Danny. He was, uh, he was a character. It was a character. <laughs> uh, I, was I like this presence. I think he's gonna I be was, cool moving forward. Uh, it was so weird. I was just like, okay, like, just a hookup, you know, just casual hookup. <laughs> so odd, so fucking odd. Um, but. Yeah, there's little stuff like when Sam like is like telling the police. I f- I don't I don't remember the names of these fucking people. Um, whose name? Detective Bailey. Detective Bailey. Um, Sam was like sitting in front of Detective Bailey, about to slide. Well, basically slid him to fucking death, like with a bunch of stab wounds, and she's like telling him, "I'm not a murderer like you or whatnot." Like that's not me. I think she means but, that in the way, like I'm not a ghost face. But like, she did fuck with my family, and then proceeds to like murder him. <laughs> I mean, fun. she did the same thing in the last movie, <laughs> and so. like, and like, it's a beating drum in this movie that she's a murderer. That like everybody. No, like, people think she's ghost face. People think because of her dad, and that's. I thought that that was really great that they played on because that is from Scream Two. A bunch of people. Thought um Sydney was. I'm not gonna go see. Look, I'm was not gonna go too in depth the killer because it's gonna sound like I'm shitting on the movie or in the first but movie because her dad was crazy. like I just don't get it, so I can't like I'm not gonna go too in depth on it. Like there was stuff I liked, <laughs> there was stuff I didn't like. It is what it is. Like I didn't. I had, I've only watched like two screen movies in my entire life, and it wasn't recently. I kind of just went to go see it on a whim. So like, went to I mean, go what, what it, movies? From, Huh? What movies did you go to go see? What do you mean? What movies? I watched one and two. You went to go see those? <laughs> no. Oh, that's what you said, but... Is that what I said? Yes, yes. Oh. Well, I don't, I don't know why. No. I watched one and two, but I didn't, like, I didn't watch them recently or nothing. So... I mean, I kind of just went in on the women. It was like, it was whatever. Like, I wasn't like ecstatic or anything. It was just a casual movie. <laughs> I love, I love the references in there. I love the, the dodge, the punch dodge reference. I like this. The yeah, go, like, one of the ghost face. To me, you like, you like, you like. It seemed like you. It was a reference. To something. It seemed like. You were like surprised no, it was. or something. You were sitting next to me. No, I was, I, was like, su- I wasn't surprised at first. I was like, she dodged it. And then she got punched by Tara. And that's when I got surprised. I was like, oh, no. I was kind no. of just And like, like one of the ghost face died the I way Stu did. I obviously don't get it. Was it. Great. Obviously it was great. It was great. I love the title card, yeah. too. Oh, that title card goes so hard. What would you, what would you rate it out of 10? Yeah, sure. Sure. Out of 10? Mm-hmm. Give it like a 6.5. 6.5? Really? Yeah. That's a lot better than I thought you would you were going to give it. I mean, did it grow on like you or something? Horrible. When you I came out, you were calling it a bad movie. So, did, no, did it grow said, on you? I said the exact opposite. I said it's not a bad movie. I'm talking about I I when you came like out it. of the theater. I said specifically it's not a bad movie. I didn't <laughs> oh, okay. like Okay. That's what All I said. All right. Not your cup of tea? That. Not my cup of tea. No. So no, will no, you watch? Know. Will you watch the next one in theaters or no? Um, I mean, I feel like I kind of have to. Now. <laughs> I thought like, that was the really like fun and like I loved I just that. Go back and rewatch all of them, to be honest. 
I think I really loved the fact that, um, you know, not all the characters in here were, you know, the most compelling. I do, I will say, one of my biggest reservations is the amount of people that lived in this movie. Like, just Chad, literally, Chad, Chad like, fucked them up. And then he sits there and then gets, a whole round, dude, bro. he gets fucked up by two of them. And then they're like, by the way, Chad, li I loved what they did too. That he, ha he, he came back the way Dewey does in the first movies and the stretchers. Yeah, like, I like, like that stuff, that but like, I still, I just, I don't know. I feel like there should be some stakes maybe in the next movie. But what, I, what, what I will say is they did make this cast a lot like a lot more likable and now like I'm really really excited to see them return in Scream 7 the core fucking 4 baby that's what the fuck I'm talking about the core 4 6.5 all right, right 6.5 he said I gave it a 7.5 but uh, you guys tell us in the comments below what you guys thought about Scream 6 what would you rate out of 10 what were your reservations what did you like what didn't you like did you expect something like all that in the comments below, but we are moving on to topic number three. And the last um, topic? The, the last topic. That is Shazam Fury of the Gods. Shazam Fury of the Gods recently just released in theaters Fury, everywhere. Fury of the <laughs> Jeez. Shazam Fury of the Gods has officially released worldwide theaters. Here are our thoughts. We're going to be giving you our thoughts. Um,. So how do you I'll let you. I I think I'll let you start you on this one. Down? I mean, what do, do you want to Do you want to go we, act by act? <clears throat> we could. We could. Okay. Are we okay. are we doing spoilers cuz it just came out? I think we sh I think we should. There's not much to spoil. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there is a cameo a in here and even and even Okay, anyways. Okay. Um I'll I'll start it off. So the movie starts off with these two whack ass villains, right? Mm -hmm. It's too old ass. They're better than Doomsday, though. We can we can agree on that, right? No. Fuck no, we can't agree on that shit. Okay, okay, keep going. That man, that man killed Superman. Have some fucking. Respect. Keep going, keep going. So here's the thing. To the the daughters of Atlantis. Atlas. <laughs> All right, why you Atlantis. acting stupid on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> The daughters of Atlantis. What? I, I definitely did not. <laughs> you know I what that did is? Not to say I know. I definitely did not mean to say Atlantis. All <laughs> it's right. Because I'm reading this, bro. I'm reading this <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> okay. So the the daughters of Atlas. Um, these two old motherfucking women. Mm -hmm. The movie just. Hey, don't off. call them old. That's disrespecting two they queens. They look very right young. They look very young. Exactly. Um, especially Lucy. Um, but uh, yeah, they it starts off with them. No backstory, nothing. Because why would we need that? You know that is true. That is why the fuck will we need any backstory? The audience isn't gonna fucking complain about that shit. Come on, that's now. true. That's we true. Don't need none of that shit. Um, that shit out of here. <clears throat> What backstory what did we get for Lex Luthor and Batman versus Superman? They give you crumbs. Okay, thank you. Um, go, but keep going. I mean, it's kind of his origin. All right, story, so right? no backstory, but what happens? By the way, this opening Why sequence was this opening. I'm just you saying, you, I'm just saying, time, you're doing a whole lot of hypocrisy. Or hypocrisy. The single thing I could tell you. About these fucking wizards, other than the fact right. that they want to build their, their gods, realm their gods, on Earth. their gods, their gods. It's like playing a fucking video game. I swear but to God. I anyway, thought this opening sequence was. So gas. it starts off with them. It starts. It starts off with them. <coughs> um, they're looking at this staff that looks like a fucking prop from the from the local theater. Like it literally just. It literally looks like a prop. Like oh my god, it looks like a movie prop. No, it looks like a prop though like it's meant to look like wood but it looks like a prop like it doesn't mm -hmm. look like mm -hmm. a like like, like i get you i get you i get you you I get understand you. what i'm saying sure like, yeah you catch my dream all right yeah so it starts off with that they like <clears throat> they grab the the staff it was a pretty dark opening i was kind of it lucky. was, I was kind yo of when the dude ran straight the into the concrete the score was pretty fire in this scene the too. score was good the score in the was whole movie fire in this scene. number one okay 
I don't know about that, but the score was I, pretty I, fire I, in this scene. Okay. And it was like building up. It was very dark. Um, it was. I'm not gonna lie though. It was giving some like uh, some early 2000s move uh superhero movie energy with all the people being like. It under control and stuff, and they're like whispering to each other and stuff. Yeah, that's but, just her power, though. By the way, right? But she uses this power like she uses this power like once or twice in this. Movie. Huh? Yeah. She bro. uses it on the wizard on Jamin Hansu, mm -hmm. and then tries to use it on Freddy. Mm -hmm. And obviously, she used it on. Hold on, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. <laughs> Let me cook, my boy. Let me cook. All right, all right. So they go. They take it to the wizard, obviously. And that's when she uses her powers again so that he can say Shazam mm -hmm. um, so that the um, the little wand, I'm going to call it a wand. So that it, It's called a staff, but I'm going to call it a wand. The wand is like broken, but mm -hmm. um, him saying Shazam would, you know, it would fix yeah. it and activate its powers. And that's what they wanted. They wanted the power. I don't know why. What? What do you mean? I don't know why they wanted the power because they wanted an apple. No, but I they, know, but she said, why. but she said they were disrespect. They felt disrespected that their father, you know, the kids have the power of the gods like kids. And she made that Helen Mirren's character made that clear multiple times in the movie that, you know, like they don't deserve it because they're kids. And that was, that was kind of the point. And I'm pretty sure them, you know, so having just, taken the power would benefit them in general, just in general, they would have more power. Yeah, but it's kind of like a side quest that leads to nothing. A little bit. I I, I do agree. This movie's uh, not perfect. Anyways, anyways, we know. Anyways, they activate its powers, all its glory, and mm -hmm. then you have this bridge sequence. Um, yes. With I need a hero playing. And let me. This shit is peak, right? Here. Let me tell you. We I'm got a Shrek you, song gonna, in this I'm motherfucker. Gonna, let me tell you we got a Shrek song in something. here. Listen, buddy. We've got a Shrek song. The movie's an automatic 10. It's an automatic 10. It's peak, peak cinema, dog. Are you serious? When that music started playing, I was like. All right. Hey, shut the fuck up and let me cook, my boy. Because here we go. We finna talk about the bridge sequence, okay? Right yeah, go ahead. Rip, off rip. This sequence had bad green screen. Huh? Where? It had bad green screen. Can you name like a specific scene where you're like, oof? I mean, I mean, clearly the team shot. Wait, what? What the do you mean? Team shot. You talking about after? Like when it's done? After? When they were when they when they were saving people after they saved people and and they got yeah. together? Yeah. That I don't think that was green screen. I think they were on a bridge, like on an actual practical place. Really? Maybe the background was. I don't think they were on well, like a green uh, screen, like studio whole thing. I don't I think... know. I don't know. Something about it was so, it looked so cheap. It looked really? I, I guess. Really I, cheap. I loved, I loved the scene. I love like Freddy when he's like, like acting like he, he's hurt. Confident. He's, it's tough. It's tough to carry the cars up. He's like, oh. Actually, it's actually pretty easy. <laughs> like, I love, I you love got, it. Like, you got, what's his name? You got fucking Pedro as he, like, fucking, he catches a thing and it looks so fucking goofy. I, like, I will say the, like, the model looks goofy. His arms look goofy. But then, yeah. like, you know, c cuts back into, like, oh, okay. Like, it, it, it looks, it looks good. I will say, like, and I thought they the, don't even, the CG was great. And, Keith, could you, could you, could you do me a favor, Keezy? Okay? Mm -hmm. Could you do me a favor? Could you tell me why the bridge was collapsing? Um, obviously there was like a fire truck there. Someone crashed. It looked like someone crashed into the bridge, which broke the like, you saw it. They showed it. The bridge was like fucked up. It was like bent. Yeah, yeah, the screws yeah, yeah, yeah. were off what and stuff. What fucked the bridge up? Obviously like maybe a truck. I'm pretty sure it was like a heavy truck or something. Just say that they don't tell crashed you. In they, there. Don't, they don't tell you. Uh, what are they supposed to? Like they're go going there to save them they're not going there to uh, like detect a, to be fucking forensic scientists like what do you <laughs> no, no 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 no. i'm talking about from a viewer perspective like i, I guess i mean it's more like a these, bro this ain't the shazam final league. battle they're catching this is like us it's catching not, up no, with what the shazam that. lee is I doing that, but how is there a bridge like collapsing and like 
that's it. Like, that's just a quick it, thing. And you don't you even are... know why the bridges collapsed. Can't believe like, this is just... a criticism. Yes, but, it is. I know. mean, it's a fucking valid criticism. Okay. And I okay. hate the fact that you're sitting here acting like it's fucking not. Okay. I'm so, like, I'm supposed to just take. Oh, a bridge is just collapsing, because okay. bridges just collapse. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, what the fuck? What? Okay. <laughs> What uh, do you mean? Anyway. Did you watch the movie? And then, and then it didn't movie. immediately start collapsing. They save everybody, and then, like, you have this kid. How can you hate like, this scene, it's... dog? I'm sorry. This is blowing my mind how you're hating you have... on this open. This entire opening was amazing to me, but. It was right. not amazing. All right. All right. I, 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 I actually, loved it. Man. I, actually I loved very, how bad they were, but they still saved very, people. But, like, yeah, they yeah, weren't they the best. And you they know? They were bad, and it shows you, like, that kid side. But it also, like. Like it Darla saving the everything. kittens first. Like, I and, loved but it. That man. type of stuff constantly played throughout the movie makes, the, makes you not take it serious. And it makes those um, moments. I don't feel think like, Shazam is trying to be a batman comic <laughs> like no like, but you what? should think that the heroes are in danger the they d are you saying they weren't in this movie i'm saying i never thought they were oh they were like, oh the okay movie, like they right. them out to be in danger all right. but i never thought they were so you didn't fuck with the opening that much so well they, this sequence they, save, they save all the people they still fuck up bridge the scene looks mm -hmm. like ass um, I thought it was great, but okay, okay. And then after that, they uh, don't don't they like go back to their little secret layer or some shit? Yeah, they pimped out the layer a little bit more. Yeah, and then there's this, they're they're like going through the siblings and what they do, and I hate it because I still I don't know shit about these siblings. The uh, the the Asian kid, mm -hmm. I know he's like smart. Even though, like, he's, like, he's, trying to fix a bridge and, like, can't fucking fix it. But, like, he's smart, I think he, he was, try I think he was trying, thing, but obviously it just didn't I work. about him is that he, he – what else? He's very into technology. He's very close to, like – Well, yeah, yeah, He's, like, into technology and shit. To, like, um, he's very oh, – yeah, he he's going a, through a ro that room with hella doors. Yeah, he's like, a very curious person. He's always yeah, fucking he's with stuff. Yeah, curious about that. Which would I be mean, cool if we got, like, if we – no more into that shit but like sure yeah it's kind of like here and then yeah. poof like you never yeah hear i do it agree again. it's a ton and of character it's a ton of sequence, but it's a ton of characters sequence. dude it's a it ton of characters sequence, bro. bro with mary with mary's character she talks about like she wants she's going off to college and stuff she wants to like mm -hmm. be normal you can't be normal if you want to be a superhero by the way mary you gotta you gotta pick that's you can't, what you billy you can't want to be a superhero and want to be normal. That just doesn't. That makes no sense, Mary. But she says like she wants to be like a normal kid and like go to party or, or like mm -hmm. not go to party, but like you know just go to college and do her thing. And that's all we get. Poof. It's yeah. Gone. It's yeah. Gone for the rest yeah. of the movie. Fortunately, nothing, you know <laughs> her. None of her else. brothers die, and she doesn't have this humongous, you know, vengeance arc. We get or, Pedro's you know, character. It's crazy. We get Pedro's character. Looking at cock. Okay. <laughs> He's just okay. At, he looks he just, at he a shirtless baseball player in a baseball. It is like a Sports Illustrated magazine or something. Yeah. He's like <laughs> what looking the at the hell? Shirt. We get that, and then mm -hmm. th that gets brought up later. But like, it's basically like poof. Yeah. Like it's like. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree yeah, with you, like, but yeah, my I'm rebuttal like, to all like, these things is that like, they're not like. What type of a, enormous arc could you make for these characters or some type of, you know, substantial arc? We have so many characters. For one, Darla's, I, I, if you sit here and try to tell me that this 10-year-old girl needs a fucking humongous arc or a incredibly compelling character arc, you're literally blatantly hating because that's just stupid and same for Eugene. Most of these characters are regular characters kids they're not going through anything specifically like the way freddie and billy right. do and that's right. why i don't think have, they need up. humongous arcs and then we have, all right and then we have 
like this this plot line. I don't think it's a plot line, but like it's like a line of like Billy being worried that he's gonna be kicked out and like aging out of the foster system. And yeah. like there's nothing Well he does age that. out of the foster system. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like there's nothing after that. Like it's like poof. What do you mean? Like that's it. Like it, it just gets talked about and then it's like no, That's and it. then no, he brings it up later in the third act. Yeah, but like it, it does like it has no like value because of that. It like, do, like, did you oh. not understand the movie? Did you not understand the whole layer scene? What? That you know you can you can clearly tell by when all of them got like gotta go right, and Eugene's yeah. all sticky, and um, uh, Pedro's like uh, I'm gonna go watch baseball, and like they all start leaving. You could see Billy like does not want to let them go he does not want to and that's why yeah. he's thinking of you know obviously mary brought up you know him about to age out of the foster system and billy yeah. talking about how lucky she is that that she's still there and billy really is he's but he's afraid to let them go because, but nothing what? comes out of that because it's not like throughout the movie that keeps happening like what? what do you mean abandoning each other and going off to do their own things like throughout literally the freddy does that <laughs> literally freddy does that and he has that the same and he has an freddy, arc freddy doesn't freddy really freeman do freddy doesn't really do that he kind of just gets like kidnapped what no i'm talking about like he always he's he keeps trying to do his whole superhero heroics without the rest of the family and Mary wants to go do stuff and like all and the yeah, whole family but, wants but, to. But the, it's not it's not a be, like it's not. I thought it was compelling that Billy. It is not throughout the movie to where you can care about it. Uh, like, I'm of just course. Yeah, honest, it's not every second. But bullshitting me to stay here and act like it's something that's focused on or something that's like a beating drum in the movie. And it's I not. think it's, it's not. I think it's made clear, though, that Billy is and very. And I think it would have been the. I think the stupid he's very fucking, attached. I loved that. I loved that. Like Shazam, everybody would have been the perfect time for to to harp to like focus on that point that like they're they want to be on their own and like start doing stuff. But that's another conversation for another day. Anyways, so after that, um, Shazam has a dream, and that's he when uh, that shit was hilarious, dog. <laughs> That shit was funny. <laughs> this is that. Diamond Hansu. This is that Thor Love and Thunder, Hercules, Screaming Goats, Ant Hercules, Modok. Why'd you this say Hercules? Is that kind of shit. What'd you say this Hercules scene is for? That kind of shit. I understand it's goofy as fuck to look at. It's fun. It's like the funniest shit ever to look at. But it's like that kind of shit. It's like. Can't even take it serious again. Can't even take it serious. It's but a dream. In this little dream. In this little dream, you have. You, you have wait, a, wait, wait, wait. Before this, hold on. Before Han this, Jaiman Hansu pulls a damn thing out of his nail. This movie gets disturbing at times, by the way. <laughs> like, for a movie for kids. He pulls a splinter about the size of dude. a dog. Like, that shit is like. <laughs> dude. Dude, good, huh? obviously it's it's, like good... it's from the it's from the wall it's from the staff, but like he's just pulling it out and it's like it just keeps going in the whole. E bro, let me just say there was like ten people in our theater, but the theater was still I like there was like eight. Okay, they were still like ooh ooh. We were all like whoa whoa whoa. whoa. Like what the hell, man? There was yeah. some this movie got so, fucking like <laughs> disgusting so and dark at dream. times. Um, Billy is warned. The wizard he is. Warns mm -hmm. him about the, the daughters of Atlas, these dangerous mm -hmm. mortal creatures, old women. Billy and his siblings, siblings, Billy and his siblings, the Shazam lead, they go do research. And one thing I didn't like in this movie is the fact that they were just in their Shazam forms for no reason. Yeah, yeah. For they no were, reason. Uh... And it felt so weird. It feels so weird, like seeing yeah. the little girl, like, like as Megan Good, like chilling, like in that body, like that's I agree. so weird. Like, but there, I, I like, think they've kind of taken this responsibility of of like whatever their free time is, every hour on the hour we're on the clock, like 
you know, we got to be ready in case I there's a disturbance that. or I something. Get I get that, but like, I don't know. It, was, it just strike struck. No, 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 I, I, I definitely so agree. Then you do some like research on on the Dodgers or whatever, and then during that, you get this whole subplot or scene or scene or whatever when Freddie's at school, mm-hmm. and I cannot tell you how much I dislike this scene. Which the scene yes, or the entire I subplot? Even, no, the scene. <clears throat> I can't even begin to tell you like how CW, how amateur the writing. Like I can't. It. it For what? It For like no fucking sense. So you have like oh the bullies. Mm-hmm. They were the in the last bull- movie. The fucking bully this fucking nerd on, on fucking crutch. So they bully the shit out this kid because mm-hmm. you're supposed to like this kid. So obviously he's gonna get bullied. Okay. They were in means, the last movie, means, but keep going. That that means nothing. It, that it, means it literally, literally nothing. does. Okay. Fine. <laughs> like, what do you? Been getting bullied. Yes, there you go. He's been getting bullied. There you go. Again, that's it's there still this trope. That's like, oh, you have to like this kid. He's gonna get bullied. Anyways, he's getting bullied. Then he meets this new girl who's just. Mm-hmm. It's like a fu- it's like watching an anime. It's literally like watching an anime. It's like this guy who's just sitting in fucking class and this new girl who came from the de- who who's who's Satan's daughter, but she wants to learn how to live with humans and she checks into a school and she she flirts with this kid. Like it's literally like some but some obviously she's you know, there's of- there's a reason she was flirting with him, which by the it's way, really- F- FYI yes. He didn't even yes. know until we had to yes. point it out no, to no, him no. after no, the yeah, movie. Yeah. There is a reason, but, but it's just <laughs> it. So like, there's just there's other ways she could have went about doing it. Like, but I think like, I think she did it. Like, she did it well. Writing. She's like a and the writing. The writing was so. I mean, it was it, so weird in this scene. She was like was. laughing at everything this dude was doing, and like yeah, but she was trying like to get each other sentences, and I'm just like, Duh. no, she was really I'm, trying to I get like get watching, answers though. That's am why. I watching a special episode <clears throat> of Lab Rats right now, like, bro. No, she was trying to get stuff out of him, but we gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta we gotta move. We can't we can't just okay. talk about every specific scene, like. Okay, so <clears throat> skipping skipping ahead, we'll skip ahead a bit. Yeah. So then they go to <coughs> the the Rock of Eternity, and then they see Steve. Steve is this magic fucking pen. Yes. Because once again, Steve. I don't know how you were hating on this, dude. I'm like, what? Gotta why are you, why are you mad that the movie about magicians have magic? What I mean, the? What are you on? I was just mad that like it was like the way it was done, like. What do you mean? It's, it's like I loved like, it. It gave like Harry Potter vibes. I really loved it. Did. It did. It gave it I gave it. like some Harry Potter vibes. I love how much they like, dove into like the wizardry felt, and the mythology. Like, it just felt very like it felt too easy. You know what I mean? Like too, it easy, felt too easy for what? They like, didn't even do nothing with that just, pen until the third act, really. I, I and that was another thing that I was I was like confused by. We'll um, talk about that later. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this is when Shazam meets the girl at the hamburger joint, just chilling, family, fast day, go see it. Um, this is when that scene happens, and she's they're having this whole. Conversation. Well, at this yeah. point, Pedro's powers got taken. Yeah, Pedro's powers got taken at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pedro's powers got taken because this one can just unshazam motherfuckers. So yeah, you they can use it. Which was so to weird take their to power. Me. I don't. I like. See, here's the thing. I like magic. I don't like how the magic is used in this. Movie. How is that weird to like? To, the wand gave them the powers. I know, but that just feels. So should like, they not? Should it? Should it not be able to take them so away? Lame. It feels so like something for plot. Like it feels so lame. Like all right, keep going. Keep going. Like it feels like oh, when we need this person. By the way, this fight went hard. By the way, this entire fight went hard. Um. So you have. They show yeah. up. The Shazamly oh, yeah, yeah. shows up. Yeah, the Shazamly shows up, and they fight. Um, what was her name? Espera. Which one? It was Espera, and then. And Calypso. Yeah, I think yeah. that was her name. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it was Esper and Calypso. So they fight. They were they were fighting both of them, right? Yeah, but mostly. Well, the Shazamly was fighting Calypso. Shazam yeah, yeah, was was yeah. trying to take care of Esper and bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love this sequence. They were like throwing yeah. each other into fucking buildings and shit, the or Esper, into like concrete. The Esper fight was it was whatever. I liked um, it. Like seeing Helen Mary and like getting body slammed is crazy. Like at this point, at this point, Calypso was on the dragon, right? No, 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 no I don't no, think no. so. No, no, no. no. wait, no no, 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 no. So Esper is defeated. Um, mm -hmm. And then she gets brought to the lair, and this part yeah. is very stupid. Why? Very. Hey, th we need this for plot. Fucking. She wanted little... to get brought in the lair. That way she can grab the apple. I know, but that's that's yeah. why I'm like, why did why did they even bother? Like, cause how did how, how did she get into the lair? What do you mean they took they put her in the jail? It was like why did like why did she even need the the staff? Like they all they Wait, need to do, do is mean? just all they need to do is just get in the layer and get the apple. Like why did what did they need to go get the staff? That's what she did for. Oh no! Um, obviously they they got the staff because it's immensely it's immensely powerful. Like if you're going to get a cheese, that. Kelly, if I you're going to get that. a cheeseburger, right? If you're going yeah, to get a cheeseburger get it. It. and it has nothing on it, but you're able to get like. You're able to grab lettuce and tomato and all the ingredients you want to put on top of it. You know, even though you're in a rush, are you not going to grab those? Like, it's okay. like. Okay. Anyways. So, Anthea helps um, Freddy and the wizard try to mm -hmm. escape. And what, and what, By the way, I liked, I loved this. I loved the dynamic between the sisters. I loved it. Felt straight I'm out of like lie, a Disney princess random. movie. It oh, felt love very it. random. Like a what Disney did? princess movie. Like the like this girl who's just in high school, and then she's the sister of the two older women. For some reason, she yeah, but they looks, all each have their for different. Some reason, Anthea looks very younger and like very, yeah, but like they're gods. Like what? <laughs> but she looks so different compared to the other two. But anyways. Um, yes, yeah, she's probably younger. So she's helping them and whatnot. And then <laughs> they're not true. Has, and then Esper has the apple. Um, Billy, Freddie, and I think the wizard. Mm -hmm. Um, the I think this is when the dragon, I think by this time, the dragon's by this, in. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So and I just want to say no, no, was, no, no. That no, the dragon didn't spawn because remember they met the dragon in that hole in the pit. Yeah, and it wasn't out oh, yet. It yeah, didn't yeah, come yeah. out till I think yeah till no, no, no. she. So this is when they uh the Shazamly they re they reveal themselves. Mm hmm. This is when Pedro comes out the closet and reveals himself. Um, which was like, I'm gay. We know. Oh my God, dude. Move on. Like, like that's yes. it. Like, it was like that is it, man. But um, so yeah, they revealed to their parents that they're um, the Shazam, the the Philadelphia fiascos. That's what um, the news and stuff calls them. Yeah, I know. That <laughs> they reveal that to their family, and their parents are like, "What? Oh, that's why lightning is destroying the house." And then mm -hmm. um. Calypso goes, starts chasing them for the apple. Um, with some of the members losing their powers, was it all of them? They all ended up losing their powers. Yeah. And Billy so had they his all ended still. up losing the powers. Um, <coughs> Mary flew off with the apple, got zapped. Um, mm -hmm. the green screening and comp when she was falling. I thought it was fine. It was I think funny the reason why it looks too. funny is because we don't know what a human so falling Billy looks like, <laughs> like from that angle. Calypso grabbed the apple, so Billy had to make a choice of whether to get an apple. And yeah, I love and that. You chose family. I like that too. Um, that again, that's some stuff that you're just looking at. And you're like, this is for plot. Like, <laughs> this is what? for plot. Like, you no, like, literally can't save both. He can't. Get I know, both. but it just it's kind of set up so that. She needs to get the apple so that this can happen later on. Yeah, of course. Side. Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, I'm just saying, like stuff like that can can be like that. Um. So he saves Mary. Um. Then 
Esper plants the apple into the stadium, and for some reason, I think at this point, um, she like betrayed. What's her name? The girl that Espera? Helen Mirren was playing. Espera betrayed. Uh, not she didn't betray Calypso. Calypso, yeah, she betrayed Espera. Yeah, which mm-hmm. was like so random. Well, that's because. <laughs> It so that's because it, it's not at all you i don't what? know if you if you watched the movie but what? like these crazy? no these three sisters clearly have different personalities and opinions and and different like motives set on the same thing like if you I see just, like with so um heavy. Helen Mirren's character and Lucy Liu's character were clearly like on the same mission. They could say whatever they could yes, say. Yes, but they had a different, they, they had completely the different mission. personalities. So when they like, when she zaps Helen Mirren's character or whatever, like, it's no, she, like, the dragon so stabbed her. her. Yeah, yeah. And like Lucy her Liu was kind of like enjoying it. And it's just like, I don't know. It was so weird. It felt very random. Um, I, I like that. I think, I, I, I think it's very well like, explained especially with the uh just the personalities i think that was the big thing was you could okay. tell helen Mir- they had the same motive but helen mirren's character was a lot more calm and decisive and like lucy lou's character was very aggressive like mm-hmm. very like we're also, gonna get whenever, it whenever done. it was a shot of lucy lou on the dragon it looked like ass i think it looked fine it looked so i think awful. any shot of anyone on a dragon's gonna look <sighs> Weird is, because lame, we've but, we don't see right, humans on dragons. Anyways, like right, fine. anyways, um so a bunch of roots start growing out the ground and shit because they're building their realm on the Yeah, earth. they are. Mm-hmm. Um I still don't know anything else about these villains at this to the up to this point. They're um, trying to build the start, tree of life. And they just spawn a bunch of creatures. This is when it starts getting into mm-hmm. Black Adam skeleton soldier territory. Uh, um, negative. On negative. a bunch of fucking negative. creatures, a bunch of negative. random ass fucking monsters. I highly this disagree. This woman just gets absolutely fucking wrecked by this scorpion tail, the lion. Like, mm-hmm. that's was, what I love. I love the creature oh, designs. I love the mythology. Like, I cool. loved it. I like the Cyclops one. Um, Dude, they looked like when they first came out. But um, like when they yeah, first came out of their weird. little cocoons, like, they oh, looked good. It was just like this. The CG was, it was like fucking great for them. Side quest of like a bunch of creatures versus like civilians versus like, like and the Shazam having to help them. I f- yeah, it's uh, weird because um, that's the difficult part with handling so many characters is like especially when you if it's not something like the avengers where like all the characters are main characters when you're handling something where there's one main character and a lot of other characters you you're forced to have this main character do something and then you're like fuck we gotta find stuff for the other characters to do and that's always so, tricky i think right. i think they did it so good of though. course when everything is going wrong like at its worst this is mm-hmm. when shazam wants to be, tell the wizard, hey, take back my powers, right? Um, yeah, he wanted him to do it because he thought, you know, the wizard has a ton of experience. Like, you can probably handle this, but, like, I'm not I'm know, not fit for this. but it just felt this. like the, the wrong time to be asking, like, to, to no, be doing no, that. I, like, I, I like this but stuff. It, I don't get no, no, how to do It's fine. Things. It's whatever. Um, after that, um, he tell he he gives him like this speech that he, the like, speech you know, and the wisdom, and they explain right? the wisdom which they built up during the whole movie and I loved what they did with it because everyone from the first movie you know they, for the majority but they I loved it different because to me it doesn't feel like that it doesn't feel built up I throughout the movie very it much feels like disagree they it here and there it doesn't feel built up throughout the movie I disagree to me, to I me. disagree. From the first movie and in the beginning of the of this one, you know, I think a bunch of people can agree that like Billy's pretty dumb, and even they they even say oh, yeah. they're like you're. I think Mary might have the power of wisdom on on herself, but uh, no. Then it's revealed that no, he he does have wisdom, but it's in his heart, and like that's so true. That couldn't be more true. Okay, like so this is when Billy turns back into Shazam, so he could go. And stop Calypso. Mm-hmm. The and then him and Helen Mirren's character comes up with a plan. Yeah, yeah. The family tries to go and help him. Um, they ask him like, "What are, what are the creatures' weaknesses?" 
Mm -hmm. then, now this it, it's plot <laughs> this was like, the only thing that was like plot convenient this is where it gets to black adam territory no no I'm stop saying about. dumb shit stop this saying is stupid dumb as fuck. are you kidding me okay. this is dumb as fuck this okay i'm i'm a lex luther that can't function let me uh randomly yeah, no know how to create movies. doomsday in five minutes movies. we're not here to talk but about better movies than shit. i'm just saying i'm just saying so you don't got these same criticisms the for the movies you like are unicorns you know what's coming so the creature's weaknesses are... By the way, hold on. Can we be honest? These unicorn designs were so gas. Like, they looked so cool with the white the eyes. On. The Come on, on, bro. The creature so, designs in here were amazing. So they're on the, the battle bus, right? The battle van. Um, the battle wagon. That's what he called it. Yeah, the battle... To the, the battle... battle I love the parents, yeah, man. Yeah, I love... This is when it starts feeling like Black Adam. Like, those two that were in the... The two... The bearded guy and the, the girl that were just traveling around in the... This is when it's... Yeah, all right, oh my so. bad they both have a van <laughs> two people oh, characters just have a van it's, getting in it's too similar for him family, like it, I'm it. Just saying. so the kids the wizards look around of course darla finds a unicorn because obviously the creature's weaknesses are unicorns so there have to be unicorns somewhere mm -hmm. so there's unicorns and of course this unicorn is attacking darla and after three fucking skittle ads you have to get a fourth one that's it. That's just <laughs> let me just let me just say I've seen give you the fifth and final fucking Skittles ad and tell you to taste a fucking rainbow. <laughs> That's the best line in the movie, bro. I'm sorry. The theater makes a fucking sound. Okay, there was only like eight people in there. While nobody in the theater and it was a super sound. small theater. Taste the rainbow. Shut the fuck. Get the fuck. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> listen, let me let me say that um. So I've seen product placement. Skittles. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've seen. <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> I've seen product placement oh, in movies. Okay. I've seen egregious product placement. I've seen you know little uh, toss me a bag of Doritos oh, uh, product placement. This is one of the most <laughs> strong product placements, and honestly. <laughs> I'm not lying when I say this, bro. She doesn't get the, any of the other colored Skittles. She gets the yellow ones. Honestly, <laughs> like, dude. I kind of respect them for like going all in crazy. on and just that is like crazy as fuck. <laughs> all right, so anyway, she's crazy. not giving this it unicorn was. some Skittles. Of course, unicorns. Well, what is it called? Skittles. Well, no, but they called it something. They love like they called it like it starts with an A. It's like called a strosis or something, something is what oh. they what they love it's a sweet thing yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a sweet nectar is what they call yeah, it yeah. and you so know she happened to have skittles, skittles which i think was a was a plausible thing because no one else had anything like she had she had this she had skittles no one no, else I had anything the so plaz i think the <clears throat> plot convenience is them liking the sugary so yeah yeah that's yeah absolutely like. yes yes 100 percent. Right. anyways it's a whole herd of unicorns not one unicorn. It's a whole. No, he calls the herd. He call, he's like, Nye. you know, he's like, yeah. he's like, like hello, loud, bro. He calls the entire herd of fucking unicorns and she, the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like what the. <laughs> This movie's a blast, guys. This movie is. A blast. <laughs> this movie's fun. This movie is a joy, man. It is. Right. Oh my god. Man. Anyways, let's start fucking up the beast and Shazam gets right, ready for for final battle. <laughs> we gotta hurry this up. We gotta hurry this up. Right, we gotta hurry Each this up. They fuck out the creatures. They fuck out the creatures. Cool. Yeah, now then, on to obviously. Shazam in the third act. Um yeah, Anthea yeah. makes the or not Anthea, um Aspera makes the closes the bubble in because Aspera. He, <clears throat> yeah. Helen Mirren's character. That's oh oh yeah. Yeah. I'm Aspera sure. closes the bubble in and yeah. then obviously I think she, like earlier in the Shazam notices that uh, the the staff was taking some of his power, and then you can kind of predict what was gonna happen after that. Uh, he was like, "Oh, it's it's taking my it's taking my power." I was like, "Oh, he's gonna blow it and up like a battery." Course, and then of course <clears throat> we have to have a final battle. So shrink the dome. <laughs> yeah, she could shrink it. She can shrink the dome, and then we need a crowd. 
So I'll have everybody sit right outside the fucking dome where Shazam is gonna fight Calypso and have them pull out their phones fucking Tasm 2 style in Times Square. Like just start not not nearly that shit. dumb because they can't get hurt, but okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Not nearly that dumb, but just as dumb. So No. <laughs> so no, they can't get they're hurt. Sitting so. there, they, they pull out their phones and shit. And the mom and dad are just like watching and shit. Well, they're also, the, was, obviously. Uh, also, what was hella funny is when Shazam and them were all in the van and whatnot. And then for some reason, the family just drives around the creatures just fucking up all these humans. They're just driving around it. Like, they're just looking at it and just driving around it. And then, like, Shazam, like, they hop out the car <coughs> to go save or whatever. And then they're like, all right. You guys do your thing to the parents, and I'm like sitting there in the crowd, like, what the fuck are they gonna do? <laughs> no, they're probably just running, <laughs> running motherfuckers crowd, over like, or something. What? All right, anyways, so yeah, they're sitting here ready for the fucking final battle, and let me tell you, this was a good final battle. This I'm was, it was actually really um, good. It was like, I'm holy mad shit, that it was the only like action scene like worth talking about. But, I like, love, man, it you're was, crazy. it was pretty good. There was a shot. Specifically, I want to like get a get the shot. I think, but like, there's not many action sequences I, in the movie, I, I, but there's I, multiple I, action scenes through peppered throughout the movie. All right, so he fights this big ass CGI fucking dragon. It's CGI mm -hmm. Levi versus the CGI dragon. My and bad, my uh, bad, guys. We couldn't. He's he's couldn't, get a, couldn't get a real dragon. He couldn't just couldn't get, get a real dragon. A real couldn't dragon get... in Shazam. Right. Come on. Yeah. I know. Anyways, he destroys them both. Um. This whole sequence was sick, though, man. The oh. lighting in here—you can tell a lot of the budget went into this. Like, a, like most of the budget went into this. Clearly, this final act, yeah. like the lighting and is great, the CG is all yeah, great, yeah. everything was, is polished. Pretty good. And so, uh, throughout that whole thing, um, the music banged. The music banged during this scene. He defeats them both. Um, he dies. In, yeah, in because the it blew up. It, the entire thing blew up in the yes. dome. Um, Anthea, right? Rachel Zegler's character. Yeah. Yep. Brings uh, all the the whole family to the kingdom for for his funeral and whatnot. Right? They bury mm -hmm. him and whatnot. Wait, first um, we gotta talk about the fact that like everyone just you know Infinity War dusts. <laughs> Like, yeah, just in By the way, that's it. Hey, pulled on my heartstrings when Billy was like a kid and he like was dead, and like the family goes up to him and like the way Freddie was with him, he's like, all right, this is the part where you know you're supposed to say surprise and you got me. It, it was, was like, not, it was maybe not you're just that, but me. but I told you before watching the movie that you like Shazam, but I don't think you like love. The Shazam no, characters because as someone who loves the characters, earned. that hit that cut deep, man. When Freddie was like sitting there, he's like, You asshole. And it's like, I was like, damn, like this look you kind of getting me choked up. I got choked up multiple thing. times during this movie. It was multiple not earned times. whatsoever. And, uh, I highly and because, disagree. And because the movie, because you don't feel that they're in any kind of danger when he does die, it's like you know he's not dead. I, that's you, true because, because but i still felt you know, something he's like all or none and like oh man i, right, I love that. anyways then it's time for the fucking shitty wonder woman cameo that you've right. been seeing in the fucking tv let stuff, me just obviously. say Ca and yeah, you have to be woman. honest yeah, can you be honest with this fucking epic ass music and these can, you can, you what what can you be honest can you be honest can you be can you be honest be honest what the cameo was a lot better than you thought it was going to be. Don't even lie. Don't the lie. Cameo, it was gas. Actually, it was gas. The cameo was actually worse than I expected. <laughs> I thought it was I, like, like I had, I had a better time with the cameo looking at it on Twitter on my, oh my iPhone God. 12 Pro Max than I did in the theater. Like when that scene came up in the theater, I was. I was cringing so fucking hard, bro. <laughs> I was cringing so hard. I think I put my fucking knees up to my chest during that scene. Like, what? Why are you I cringing? I, I loved it. Let me just bro, say this. I, I mean this respectfully. You're probably going to get mad. You're probably going to get mad after I say this. But let me just what? say this. What? That is the first time I actually liked the Wonder Woman score. The Wonder Woman theme. 
<laughs> that is the first time I actually like, and maybe it's because of the continuation of the theme is actually really good. Because when it first showed up, I was like, uh, no, when no, when it no, when it first now, when it first started playing, I was like, ugh, like I did not like it. But when it kept going. I was like, hey, hold on. I was like, I'm kind of feeling her presence right now. Like, she really does feel larger than life, the way bro, everyone's looking like at no her. Right now. I like it. And it, it was perfectly bro, justified, too. So they need a De God. No. All the yes, gods but, are dead. Yeah, but God, she's a demigod, though. She's a demigod, so she's not going to die. Right. She's, right. Mm -hmm. right. So all the gods are dead. And the wizard um, is, a, is also a god, but he didn't have powers at this time, so he... The, so, that's why the Shazam Lee didn't here, die. Woman's yeah, here to, all that. To revive Shazam, mm -hmm. she reses Shazam. Um, reses. She, <laughs> she, she reses reunites. Shazam. He reunites with his family and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, I loved it. I loved it. He gives them all a big like they all have a family group hug and like yeah, the family they're like zombie, zombie. I loved it. I loved it. The family fixes their house, and now the the wizard is human now. Pimp. What yeah. human? What do you mean human? No, he just got a cut. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's I'm saying and like he, he's in their world now. Yeah, he's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't have powers. So, yeah, yeah. So now he's like in their world and shit. Um, dressed up like. Or pimp. didn't have powers. He didn't. Um, have oh, by the dress, way, does that mean the black guy like a pimp? Does that mean the like if Shazam continues in the DCU? Do the parents have powers? Get the fuck! I don't. I don't give a fuck. Cause he I, literally said he was like, "Who wants their powers back?" And like, even the parents raised their hands. So I'm like, "Whoa!" I hope not. I hope not. Anyway, that would be that would be crazy. That would be kind of crazy. Anyway, that's when. The Anyways, the cameo ends. was well justified by the way. Well that's justified. That's when the movie ends, and then we get. You thought the, you thought the fucking Wonder Woman cameo was bad. We're gonna give you an even fucking. We're gonna top that uh, shit. Here we're gonna give go. you an even fucking. Here we worse go. Y'all know. Y'all know the cultists hate her. We're gonna. Y'all know gonna the cultists, cultists hate her. Here's the thing. I don't even fucking understand why she's a cameo. What like, do you mean? I don't. She works for Amanda Waller, and Amanda Waller and Black Adam I obviously I mean, knew the JSA, Amanda and they wanted to. Davis to be the cameo, though. Yeah, but she's in jail and stuff. Remember. And then I don't like the Justice Society like being controlled like by these people like that by who? doesn't sit right like by, by Amanda Waller shit, yeah like, yeah that's true that doesn't but, sit right like you know, I don't know. they're doing they're so trying weird. to do their Nick Fury but thing it's not really the characters that that made it bad like I actually is, thought Economos is top ten unfunniest fictional fucking characters I I've thought ever seen in life I thought they were um, very in character Parkour like the minute very, they like, show up they Parkour both start cussing caught me up guard the dialogue in that scene is pretty fucking cringe. Zachary Levi's acting in that scene is, again, it's pretty cringe. Um, yeah, Jesus, that post credit bro. scene left. The Do you have fun at all? Like, and then I God. actually did stay. It must be boring to live in your show. The, like, really, uh, it must be so boring to live as you. You really just hate fun. <laughs> like, it's crazy. How, like, there's nothing wrong with that post credit scene at all. There was nothing wrong with it. In fact, when he says the Avengers Society, that made me chuckle. He was like, that I kind of like that. I loved it. I loved it. I loved that it. did not make me chuckle. Then we it get the post credit very, scene. It, it just, it felt like, uh, <clears throat> it felt so, it felt so like forced. Too. I guess. Like, I, I guess. It was so just cool. a little credit scene. but um, And then the post credit <clears throat> scene was even Mr. more. Mr. Mind and Savannah. Even more whatever sauce. So like, it was like. I don't even care about this shit. Oh, you're crazy, man. If you don't want Mr. Mind and Savannah coming back, man, I, I don't know if you, if the, if these type of characters or this world is your shit. But um, Fuck give your quick review and your rating, and I'll give mine right. you first. So, to summarize my shit, quick review. Mm -hmm. um, I thought Shazam um, lacked all the charm and all of what made the first one special. I don't think it was necessarily a bad movie. I just don't think there were a lot of great elements of this movie. I think it was a rather lackluster, mediocre, middle of the pack, average, generic superhero <laughs> movie. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and have to give Shazam Fury of the Gods a 7.2 out of 10 out of 100. 7.2? That's hot. That's. 
out of a hundred, I'm gonna. It go don't ahead. sound like you want to give it a seven point two, but I guess out of a hundred, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sixty-five. Sixty-five. All right. All right. For me, um, I thought it was a ton of fun. Um, did it have as much charm as the first movie? No, but I, I think it had more heart than the first movie. I think there's a lot of instances where there was a ton of heart throughout this movie sprinkled in. Um, I thought it was a ton of fun as well. David Sandberg really, really levels up on the scope, the scale, the action. And um, I like that as well. I thought the music in here was also very noticeable and it was a huge takeaway for me from this movie which it was not in the first um also uh loved just the cinematography in here was was great as well uh the vfx in here was were surprisingly polished like some of no, the no. modeling looked cg-ish no, but it was it was a lot better than like it looked like i mean i i, I liked it um uh, after Ant Man, uh, have leaving a bad taste in my mouth. This this definitely did did the job. It was a ton of fun though. Like there was never a single like boring moment in the movie. Um, I will say though the pacing kind of a bit off. Um, nothing jarring, but just not a you know that first movie really flows so well. Um, but yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time. I think the villains were a step up from Savannah. Um, I think there's some really great performances really? in here with. Yeah, for sure. I think there's some great performances wow. in here from, wow. you know, Rachel Zegler, Jack Dylan Grazier. I think Zachary Levi's just, he, you know, people like to knock knock on him for, like, the separation between Billy and Shazam. But I think, you know, I think, if anything, he is the reason the first movie was so, like, likable. It was him and Freddy. It was, it was really them, too. Um, yeah, I just thought they put some characters kind of on the back burner a little bit in this movie. But, uh, like, this is... Honestly, like on par, like I don't think it's better than the first one, but it's like on par with it. Like I wouldn't disagree with someone who thinks it's better or liked it more. So uh, for that, on in my percentage, I guess I, I'd give it like an eighty. Um, my um actual out of ten, I'd say I'd say seven point seven point eight, seven point nine. Not quite eight range, but. But nearly there. But that's going to be it for episode four. This is a long one. We're like almost at an hour and 30. Episode four of the Double Good. Feature Podcast. Bask in my fucking voice, bitches. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, once again, you guys can follow us on our socials, which are handled right below our screen right there. And uh, that's on Twitter, Instagram. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you guys can send in topics, questions for us to talk about uh, in, in this link down there that's where you can send it we'll answer them on the podcast we'll we'll credit you say your name you know th all that stuff but uh yeah guys you guys can follow the actual double feature podcast over there and um on twitter i i think we're on tiktok and instagram i don't know we don't post on tiktok yet and stuff but uh, i don't know what the fuck we're <coughs> doing, man <laughs> but uh yeah guys you guys give us your Bro, um that shit that turned rudy gay that was our review for Shazam and give us, let us know your thoughts in the comments below on if you liked it, if you didn't, your predictions, if you haven't seen it, all that jazz. But I'm guessing you have if you're literally watching a spoiler review of it. But uh, yeah, guys, it was it was fun talking to you guys and, and talking about these topics. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully we'll do another one of these very, very soon coming um, maybe within the next week or so because John Wick 4 is about to drop in. God that. damn, I can't wait for John it's Wick to be a nice palate cleanser after the <laughs> shit I just fucking okay. watch. Okay, but um, yeah, guys, I hope you had fun listening to us rant, listening to us debate, argue, talk about yes. this stuff. But uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, it's been boy Keezy. It has been your boy Kelly. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 it's been your boy I keep saying, see, I keep doing the real name what? shits I keep doing the real name shits Do you want me to restart? Yeah <laughs> The boy shit Alright guys, we're gonna Spin it back, we're gonna reverse time a little bit It's B-Boy Keezy It's been your boy KJ <laughs> We'll see you guys in the next one, peace Peace